Hello, I'm Jan Martel, author of Life of Pi, and I'm here to talk to you about my new novel, Beatrice and Virgil. I'd say every novel is in some ways an autobiography. Uh, a writer wouldn't write a book if he or she weren't interested in the subject matter in that book. So intellectually, this is a very much an autobiographical book. But I also use certain elements that are truly autobiographical, in that the main character in Beatrice and Virgil, for example, is a famous writer who's written a book that features animals. Well, of course, I've done that too. I wrote a novel called Life of Pi that featured animals that did very well. I did that in part to lure the reader in. Um, in this age of, of reality TV shows, people find autobiography has credibility. It pulls them in. So that was useful for me purely at a technical level. I choose the names of my characters uh, very carefully in my fiction. In Beatrice and Virgil, the main characters, they are named Beatrice and Virgil in reference to the Divine Comedy by Dante. And in the Divine Comedy, uh, Dante has lost his way. In other words, he's lost his way morally. He's confused, he's lost, he's falling into sin. And he wants to come back to the straight way. But the only way he can do that, alas for him, is by traveling through hell, purgatory, and heaven. That's the only way he can come back to the good road. And his guides through that fantastic trip are Virgil through hell and purgatory and Beatrice, Beatrice, through, through paradise. And so I wanted to use, I use those names in, in my novel because in a sense, when you look at the Holocaust, you need those kinds of guides. I like using animals in my fiction for a number of reasons. Uh, most banal reason is I find animals interesting. They're beautiful. They're impenetrable. Um, but in terms of, uh, as far as my writing is concerned, I like using animals because everyone knows animals, but most people know very little about them. If I have a character that you know, but know nothing about, that means it's easier for me to make you suspend your disbelief. And once your disbelief is suspended, then I can tell my story. We tend to be very cynical about the human species. Uh, we, we, we're cynical about our own species, but not about animals. I didn't want Beatrice and Virgil to be set in a particular city, because that would be an excuse for the reader to say, oh, it's set over there in Berlin, or over there in Paris, but not here in my safe little town. And so I wanted its location to be nebulous, so that, in a sense, the reader could perhaps think this could be taking place in my very own town. In my very own town, there's someone who's participated in horror, and perhaps I'm dealing with him every day, and I don't even know that. 